Hey guys, as you can see at the very top, I'm already halfway done with the season, I'm almost to level 6, and that's what I'm going to review, is the season rewards worth it? So I already have quite a lot, and I'll be showing this off in today's video, and also be telling you my thoughts about it, and I can also show you guys the rewards as well. Anyway, before we jump right into the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, because it really helps me out a lot. Anyway, let's just jump right into the video. So first of all, I want to get to level 6, and as you can see, there is already one right over here, which is collect the bounty of 3,000, and I'm going to hit that accept button. As you can see, I already have a $3,000 bounty, so that just means I just need a little bit more bounty, and then I can get uh, this, and I think I just need one or two more, two at the maximum more contracts left, till I'm officially done with this. And also, I don't want any cops to get me right now, because I have a $3,000 bounty, and... Oh, I don't even know how I, what, what would I do? Oh, I just went in and I just got it. All right. Well, looks like I was right. Just one more contract left. Anyway, as you can see, I can redeem the Mini Cooper. Now, the cool thing is I already have the Mini Cooper. I already got it. Um, It's a cool vehicle. I already have it. Now, I do believe that you do get 20000 if you already like an original owner. So, if you bought it before it retired last year, you can already get the 20000 So, I'm going to hit redeem. Like, I may have already got 20000 the second the update dropped. I'm really not that sure. I didn't really pay that much attention. But it doesn't really matter. 20,000 isn't that much anyway. But anyway, let's go check out the Mini Cooper. I'll show you guys this. This is what you get. And uh, basically, I'll be covering what happened like last week about the Mini Cooper. Alright, so as you can see, this is the Mini Cooper, and now last week there was a little bit of drama about the Mini Cooper, and it was because, um, you know, the Mini Cooper is being brought back, so that's kind of a drama, because if you get to level 6, you get this vehicle for free, like, you just hit redeem, and you get this $25,000 vehicle for free, and if you already have it, you get $20,000, I think I got it in the beginning, as I already said, and the drama is, like, retired vehicles coming back, this is the first time Batty Mo has brought back a retired vehicle for anything, for this season. Yeah, for the season. So that means probably retired vehicles will come back in the future for like a limited time season just like this. But the thing is, they only gave back 20000 So that made some Mini Cooper owners kind of like, hey, that's ruining the value of the car. I thought it's going to be limited. And now you're bringing it back and you're not even giving us the full refund. Well, the thing is, you're keeping your car and stuff like that. So if they just gave back the refund, then that doesn't make any sense. Like, that's like I went ahead and just got a laptop at like Walmart or something. And then I asked for a refund after like I used it. And and then um, they gave me the refund, but I didn't. I refused to give the laptop back. So you know that just doesn't make any sense. So pretty much. Anyway, I'm not really gonna cover this drama that much because it's kind of pointless. I mean, it's already in the game. They're not like gonna. They're not gonna change the season. But I just thought it was kind of interesting. All right, so I kind of take back this drama and everything I kind of said because the funny thing is the drama actually prevented Estimo and Bad DC from giving out the cash because they were going to propose 20,000 cash to compensate to bring back the Mini Cooper, but instead this is what happened. Like this is what Estimo said, ah, we ended up removing the cash reward and deleting those tweets shortly after. It was too much drama and what it's worth or what should be rewarded, so we took it out altogether. Maybe we can ash, um, maybe we can add, maybe we can offer cash in the future season. And he says it's too late now to add it in because people who already won the Mini Cooper, aka as you can see I already have it. Alright, so I find this kind of ironic because basically the people that are arguing for like more cash and stuff like that, making this whole drama thing, basically made it so no one got any cash. So if people just kept their mouth shut and didn't say anything, we would have got $20,000 because I have the Mini Cooper, I'm an OG that has the Mini Cooper, I got it before it was retired. So if they just kept their mouth shut, we could have had it. I just found this really funny. Alright, so here's an apartment. Let's go ahead and buy it really quickly. And here we go. We are now inside of it. Now, let me just go ahead and show this off. It is, of course, the Camaro bed. Now, this is actually kind of cool because it's literally the size of the Camaro. And I can just place it right over here. And the funny thing is, it's the only bed in the entire um, the store. I'm hoping they're going to add more furniture soon. Otherwise, there's not uh, a single bed as a furniture piece. So, this is the only bed you can get currently in Jailbreak, as you can see. And you can't even sleep on it. You just sit right next to it so there's actually like four spots where you can just lay down on I, I guess you can sort of like lay down like oh I, I meant to like I meant to crouch right over here yeah like that but it doesn't even let me but yeah it's sort of like a bed um tell me what you guys think about it it's this nice Camaro bed I, I really have it and you know on the side I can possibly put a lantern I mean a lamp right over here it, it kind of fits oh now, I personally kind of like it because it's kind of uh, cool. It's like added like into jailbreak, you know, sort of like an addition. I kind of really like it a lot. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so this is the level 5 reward. Now I'm going to show you the level 4 reward. Oh, I think there's somebody outside. Is there? Hmm. Is there somebody outside? There is some weird lighting here. Hello? 
Hello? Alright, there's there's nobody outside. I was just freaking out about nothing. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you the, the skin from the vehicle skin. Um, it's Oh, there's a police officer. Uh-oh, gotta go. Monster truck. Hello? Oh, there we go. We just escaped just in time. But here we go. Let me go ahead and show you the texture. It is... I don't know, it's kind of okay, kind of looking good, kind of looking, it's just a really interesting looking texture. As you can see, it's confetti, it's not amazing, but it's also not horrible either. I just have a mixed, mixed opinion about this, but tell me what you guys think down below. Do you guys like this? This is what you get for level 4, and at level 3, you will get the gun skin for it, so as you can see, I can go customize and go to digital confetti, and I'll just literally look exactly like that. And, of course, at level 2, you will get the rocket fuel. Now, I think the rocket fuel is pretty good. So, for, like, the people who don't have the VIP game pads can basically just get the rocket fuel and benefit off of it. So, yeah. But I do recommend before you actually get to level 2, use up your entire tank because this is going to refill your entire tank. So, even if you only used one small little drip of rocket fuel, that's going to be it. So, you should just use the entire tank and then I'll just refill everything. So, that's more worth it. But, otherwise, the skin... I don't think I'll be using this that much. I mean, it's it just looking okay for now. Maybe I'm on my birthday or something, but no, I'm, I'm not really. I don't think I'll be using this that a lot. Um, but for the car, I think I'm gonna be using it. The bed, it's the only bed in the furniture in the house. You know, it's the only bed. And the Mini Cooper, you know, it's not something that I use for grinding that much. So it's it's a pretty cool vehicle to own. I really like the looks of it, but it's not a vehicle I would grind with. But it's a cool vehicle. So I do think getting the level six is pretty good. The next rewards will be thirty thousand cash level seven. Now personally, I feel like this is like not that much. Like you can grind so much in this time to get to level seven that thirty thousand will be nothing. But level eight, you're gonna be getting this sort of like light thing that you can put on your furniture wall like, like it's a furniture i don't know i said furniture wall but it, you can use it as furniture so it's probably going to be a cool thing and of course level nine there's a nice spoiler which i'll probably be using and finally level 10 there's the vault off rotor now i really really want this vehicle so yeah i i, I haven't gotten yet so i don't have really opinion on that but i do want the level eight uh lights thing and i do really like the camaro bed which is pretty much why i'm even doing this season because it's really good anyway overall i think these roads are pretty cool unless you really don't care about furniture at all then this uh, thing is kind of useless but otherwise it is kind of cool to get this new furniture items i think they should do that like there should be like rewards where you get like a car or like a limited car or something yeah that's that's every single season right and they should have like you know a furniture item for one of the rewards they should have some sort of uh, texture for them. they should the more rewards the better so they should put different kinds of rewards and i think they're kind of doing this path it's really good and i really like it anyway thank you guys for watching um yeah tell me what you guys think down below about everything and i'll catch you guys next time bye